Opinionated infrastructure. This is the cardboard box episode. So let's think about virtual reality. Virtual reality, what is it? It's amazing. It's one of those things that you think, it sounds a bit rubbish, come on. And it looks a bit rubbish. You've all seen this image, Zuckerberg at the keynote. It's like, we're vegetables, we're dead. Look at us sitting here thinking we're having an experience where really we've just got something on our hands. It's pretty boring. And I've been a bit skeptical, I've got to admit, it's in my nature. So I went to Microsoft Build and I thought, hey, this is good, let's check it out. Uh, they're gonna do yeah, a demonstration of HoloLens. And that's all good. Turn up at the allotted time. You must turn up at 4.30. Make sure you turn up at 4.30, otherwise you won't get to see the HoloLens. Turn up at 4.30, and they made me wait for about 25 minutes. Now, I was a bit grumpy. I was a bit grump chips. This was not good. A big queue of us waiting, waiting, waiting. You get in, we're grumpy. They're doing the kumbaya. It's a very sort of like, oh, it's so good. We're gonna show you the development experience. I was grumpy. But actually, it was interesting to see the, the interaction between Visual Studio and the Unity development environment and what you need to do to actually build an app. And really it was, you know, it was a cut down version of, I think, the four hour session they do for developers, but it was, it was, it was, it was good, you know. You're getting a sense for how you configure things, what services there are, you put it on, it's, it's, it's a bit heavyweight um, with glasses on, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but you kind of get over that. It's got a nice little speaker in there, speech recognition, you talk to it, you got the glasses on, you can turn things off, then you can begin to see the world. You went through this staged process, but eventually it's like, wow, look at this geographical patterns. And I think that was when it really became clear to me. The modeling of the world around you and the people that you're with can be really, really fascinating. And I was just, I was kind of blown away, to be honest. The HoloLens thing is really amazing. So I've seen the Oculus Rift, kind of I've done the, the roller coaster thing, that's pretty amazing. But I think the, the interaction model that I saw from HoloLens is, is, is really more exciting. I've also done the cardboard boxes um, from Google, a little bit shonky, but also it, it's just that sense of immersion is kind of incredible. Now we haven't quite got there yet. Um, like all industries, it's kind of, uh, I think we have to wait for the porn industry to work it out and, and then we might get some, some decent consumer experiences after the fact. But um, you know, we're in a world where the, the, the possibilities really are endless. And look at those tool chains where you can model an object. And you know, I look at my son and he spends all his time modeling objects. He's in Minecraft, he's building things. He's thinking about how to create these, 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 these maps and models. There's, there's a really interesting thing where they, 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 they turned uh, modeling of, of molecules for medicines into a game. And it turned out that gamers were really good at kind of modeling and building new medicines that might work in fighting cancer. That's really amazing. And we're in this world of, of 3D, and I think as we begin to get into this augmented, um, more than virtual reality, things are gonna get really, really interesting. That's opinionated infrastructure.